Hola, hola, hola. Buenos dias. Good morning, beautiful. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, La Planning Diva, and it is officially the start of spring. Oh my goodness. I'm going to be setting up my big happy planner, um, my weekly spread for the first week of spring here. I still have my Lucky Charms cover. Oh, this thing is amazing. And I'm going to be setting up my weekly spread in my flagship planner. This is what I call my flagship planner. I think I would also call this my catch-all planner. Right now, I'm using the Disney Color Block Seasonal Planner, kind of hybridized with the Seasonal Vertical Planner from last year. I kind of go back and forth with the different months. Um, although January through March, I used the Disney planner and I'm going to be using the other planner for April and June and July. I'm not going back to the Disney one until August, I think. Yeah, August. So this is going to be the last month in the Disney planner for a bit. So whenever I plan my weekly spreads, I always peep my March monthly calendar because this is where I always put the important things that are happening this month. So what's happening this week for me? Let's see. So spring is happening. Spring is finally here. Um, Monday is the first day of spring. And I actually don't have that much going on this week besides... Friday, we're heading out to the to Sedona and the Grand Canyon in Arizona for our spring break. Our spring break is the 27th through the 31st. So this last week here we have off. Well, I mean, I'm not a student, but I work in the university setting. And so I can always kind of take a spring break as well. So we actually don't have too much going on because honestly, the majority of the trip is next week. So it's going to be a quiet week for me. So just a quick flip through here. This was the first week in March. I used press florals. This was the second week. Um, this week, I was actually barely in my planner. I was just really busy this week. And then this was last week here. Let me pull out these sheets here. This is one of my all-time favorite spreads. I love this one so much. This was the Simply Gilded Lucky Charms collection and it just is so much fun and a bright pastel rainbow and I love it. This was in celebration of St. Patrick's Day which was on Friday and I just love how this one turned out and so we're going to be switching up the week here. I'm moving on to this week here the 20th through the 26th and I wanted this to be a spring spread, so I actually am going really simple with the spread. I'm just going to be using the new seasonal sticker book from the Happy Planner. Um, they released this um, pretty recently, I would say, but I'm going to be using these spring stickers here. And then I'm also going to be using this Paper Studios sticker pack with all these cute little critters on here. I think this one's going to be perfect for the start of spring. Ugh, it's so cute. So let's get into it. I think I'm going to do a voiceover because I feel I, I feel like I want to just zone out. All right, let's get into this. I think I'm going to start off with this spring sticker here, though. I really want to use this. So I laid down that big pink spring sticker at the corner there and then some washi tape at the bottom and tops of the pages. The yellow washi tape is from Cafecita Designs and the other two are from Simply Gilded. And then I just laid down some nice foil stickers, um, butterflies and flowers at the top there and then some to-do lists and a nice long box for um, journaling. I struggled a little bit to find a place for this springs in the air sticker but I finally popped it down and I also added that cute bicycle sticker at the bottom. Of course I had to add checklists and um, some decorative boxes and some more journaling boxes and then I also added a little bit more deco there at the top and then some more to-do lists and then I also had fun adding some of these fun spring icons. I had to add this umbrella somewhere on the page because it's raining all week this week here in Southern California. And then I had to add the spring break quote sticker there at the top because it is our spring break. And then I wanted to add this a nice long um, grid box on the weekend because I wanted to journal a little bit about our trip to Arizona. 
And then I decided to add a bunch of lines on Sunday because we were going to road trip this weekend and so I felt like I wanted a lot of space to journal and I didn't want to add more boxes. I feel like boxes are kind of limiting in terms of space. But then at the end of the day, I decided to make it a packing list instead of a journaling section because I'm probably going to journal using um, like extra filler pages. And so I figured it would be a good place to add a packing list. And then the last thing I did was sprinkle these fun bug and flower stickers all over the page. I think they turned out super, super cute and very spring. And I just love these long caterpillar stickers so much. Okay, this is the final spread and I love it. I love how it turned out. It's really simple, colorful, and bright and just so seasonal. I think it turned out really, really cute. I just gave myself some checklists. I always just use a lot of checklists in this planner because it is my catch-all um, like household planner. So a lot of checklists, a lot of boxes. I also like to journal in here. So I like giving myself lots of room to write. And then for the weekend, um, at first I was gonna use this lined section as like a journaling section, but then I decided to use it as a packing list because we are going on a road trip and I always need a packing list. So I thought it'd be fun to use this section as a packing list. I'm probably going to scrapbook about our road trip and include like extra pages into this planner kind of like how I did for like our hike. When we went on our hike, I included this extra page in here, which I still need a journal about. Um, but I'm hoping to make extra pages like that and include them into my planner. So I'm probably not going to be journaling a lot about this week on these pages. So I thought it would be a good use of space to use, um, to include the packing list here. And I really like how I sprinkled all of the little um, insect and bug stickers around. They're so cute. I think it turned out really, really adorable. Just a really classic spring spread and I love it. Okay, I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. I hope you tune in for future videos. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, and happy planning. Bye-bye.